What might this be? A lot of running. That's what it is. Hey there, welcome to my new Let's Play of Sonic Adventure 2, and yeah, that's it. Hey there, welcome to my new Let's Play of Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, I did Sonic Adventure 1 earlier this year. It kind of happened. And now I'm doing the sequel, so yeah. I am doing this on... I, the Xbox 360. I used to have this game on the GameCube. I borrowed the game. I let a cousin of mine borrow the game, and they never gave it back. So, yeah, yeah, I ended up with this game on the Xbox 360, and now I am playing it for you guys. So I hope you appreciate the HD Sonic Adventure fun that you're going to be having in this let's play, along with me, maybe. I don't know. Um, it has been so long since I last played Sonic Adventure 2. I don't remember, I don't know if it's a good game or not. Because when I initially played it, I remember having fun with it. And then a couple years later, I remember trying it out again and, be, and stopping after the second level because I thought it controlled really badly. But now I'm playing it for potentially the third time. I think. I don't know. It's been too long. Either way, I'm going to be doing this Let's Play a little bit differently. Because this game has two different stories. A hero mode and a dark mode. It's basically like Sonic Adventure 1 and how you would have the six stories. Now you have two stories. Except you have six characters still. All of whom... And there's three different play styles. All of them are basically like one from Sonic Adventure. And what I'm going to be doing is... You're going to see each level in the order that it appears in, like, Hero and Dark Story. But I'm going to edit this so that the Hero and Dark Stories, I almost just, I did drop my controller. Good. It broke. Good. Good. That, yes. A, a plus. I am an Xbox user, clearly. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, I'm going to be intertwining them. So, there's not really going to be, like, any... Hey there, welcome to this new episode, or see you guys in the next episode. It's just gonna be, because I don't, I don't know when episodes are gonna start and end, but I feel like it's gonna work because it'll streamline the story more, it'll add a little bit more variety into the episodes, and it'll allow me to really judge in editing how long an episode should be. So if I record an episode, record a level and it's like 25 minutes, just throwing that out there, then I can put make that all its one single episode rather than having that with another two levels beforehand. So yeah. So this is about it. You're gonna hear from me like being like in this zone. I'm gonna be recording them like Hero and then Dark, but what you're going to see is something totally different. So you'll, s you'll see all the episode levels and it's just gonna be in a different order for you basically. That's, that's all I'm trying to say here. So with that said, let's get in on into this. Prison Island inside the base. That's a lot more than three gates. Locate and stop the intruder from entering the security area. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. <laughs> Hi, Eggman. Let's take a look at what my grandfather was working on. Top secret military weapons. The military shut down the research because they feared him. Thank you for talking to yourself and giving us all that expedition, Eggman. Really appreciate it. And so, 
we start our Sonic game chronologically by playing as Eggman. Boom, boom, boom. Eggman's gameplay is just like Gamma's gameplay from the first game. Also, we're playing as Eggman. And by first game, I mean Sonic Adventure 1. But yeah, we're playing as Eggman. Isn't that exciting, guys? We've never played as Eggman before. Not once. Not a single time. But he... Pretty much this. And that's neat. Beep, 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 beep. So, as the first levels go, this is pretty not that e difficult. I almost said pretty not that easy. But, I mean, that's kind of a lie. Alright. Eggman shares a style of gameplay with Tails, as you guys will see later. A lot of people question that move. I don't really care that much. Is it the most fitting for Tails? Uh, probably not, but I don't think it's necessarily bad. Nah, 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 nah. Also, just a fair warning, I might accidentally just repeat myself in this Let's Play because of how I'm doing it. So if I do, just please bear with me. I've already... I'm rec I'm just... I'm recording this after just having finished the entire Hero Side story. So I'll do my best to remember what I've already said, but I probably forgot. But does this does come first chronologically, before everything else. That was a mistake. I don't know how I just walked off the gate. I, it locks you in. Whatever. Jamming. I love like Eggman sound effects. Yo, 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 yo. It's very silly. There is a lot to destroy here. I'm already out of things to say. That's a great sign. That little health thing restores your health bar at the bottom, by the way, which is something unique to Tales and Eggman's gameplay. In addition to the, just the rings, they also have that health bar. I'm not sure if you take health bar damage if you have no ring, if you have rings, but you definitely take health bar damage if you have no rings. I'm not an expert on how it works. The way there are a lot of gates to break our way through, and a lot of button mashing. How do we activate this missile? How do I not play stupidly? Is a better question. I'll find out. That's a lot of gates. Oh, do now- now do I need to use this missile somehow? I see the missile. There we go, jeez. Now I can go. I just had my timing down wrong. There we go. I did probably badly. Let's see what ranking I got. I'm gonna guess a D. Nope. That was too close. I just suck. This is the lesson that we learn. Exploration AX development of space. How do you develop space? Space already exists. You can't develop more of it. Unless you develop the space as, uh, as far as like personal space because you created somebody. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Maria. 
Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. Creepy wires. Well, hello there. Is that you? Are you trying to spoil my plans again? Wait, you're not Sonic. This is impossible. My name is Shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master, I will grant you one wish. What? Floating skating shoes? That sure made no sense. This is Scorpion Troops Hotshot. Enemy movement has been detected. In route to intercept and destroy. Alright. Hotshot. You think you're such a hotshot, don't you? You are practically identical to a boss we fate we fight with Sonic later. But I don't mention that. But you will see just how similar he is. Why can't I attack you there? I don't know. Anyways, we're playing as Shadow the Hedgehog, everybody's favorite edgy, edgy Bic Edgerson character. Because this is the kind of character you want to see when you play a S Sonic game. Although, in his defense, in this game, he's not that bad. He's enjoyable. It's the later games were... Wow. That was bad. I died to the first boss. That's just, that's just embarrassing. In my defense, I never really played the Dark Story, ever. But still, that's, that's, that's sad. But yeah, like, Shadow is not that bad in this game. As far as his character goes, I mean, he's just kind of like, yeah, he's a bad Shadow character, but I mean, he's slightly interesting. Even if he doesn't make the most sense. You just kind of accept it in this game. It's in the other games where it gets worse. That's when they created all like the alien backstory and stuff, and did all this weird, confusing stuff. But I'm not gonna be playing that game. Cause Shadow the Hedgehog is a bad game. Eh. These bosses are very tedious. Ow. Well, I keep running into you because I'm stupid, so I, I don't know if I would consider myself strong. Would you please just land so I can hit you? You're really annoying. Gotcha. I'm the coolest. Well, I mean, those pathetic humans did kill you once, so I wouldn't be so cocky, Shadow. That dark robot was spectacular. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a weapon? Obviously, he's a genie. Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Logic need not apply in this Sonic game. Well, suddenly we're here.
Well, this is kind of happening. This is not what the temple looked like in the last game. Wow, that was really easy. You were you saw it in the last game, Eggman. This is just incredible to watch. Incredibly stupid. What Eggman was doing there? I don't know.